Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act uses in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. I had to take the other video down, y'all. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They be on you about every little thing. They don't want you to talk about these migrants at all. I'm telling y'all, they don't want you to talk about them. So I had to block this picture out too. But anyway, y'all, long story short, New York City, Lieutenant Police Officer, okay? They get jumped, okay, y'all? They get jumped by eight migrants, y'all. Eight of them. All right, y'all? And they arrested a couple of them. I think about five. They arrested about five of them after they jumped two. Eight against two, okay? The five they arrested, they were released without no bail. Okay, y'all? No bail whatsoever. And on the way out of court, this one right here start saying F y'all, okay, with both his hands, okay, on his way out the courtroom, after he got away with jumping two cops, okay, y'all, and a lieutenant at that, y'all, and I'm going to try to put this video back up so y'all can see what I'm talking about because this is so important. There is too many things going on right now that people's not paying attention to. And a lot of our rights is being taken away from us, okay? Even the right to protect yourself. If the police can't protect themselves, then who are we? Who are we, y'all? And I have to put this back up. I'm tired and everything. I'm about to try to go watch Sisters. I know I'm going to probably fall asleep on it. I'm getting sick of Sisters, y'all. I ain't lying. They changed the guy from last year, and they put this Fruity Pebble in there, and I am getting peed off. But uh, let me get back to these migrants, okay, y'all? Um, They let them walk, y'all. And they said that the police is looking for the other three guys that jumped. But what's the purpose if y'all going to let them right back out? Okay, now somebody came in my comment section and they was like, if they don't have no paperwork, they have to let them out because they don't get paid for locking them up. But they still do it committing crimes. I know people and I'm just going to be like it is, y'all. I, I grew up in the streets. Okay, so I know the stuff that the stuff people play. I, I know people that used to like scrub their hands on the ground, the concrete and stuff when the police finna arrest them so that, the, you know, the fingerprints won't work. So they'll be sitting in there for days because the fingerprints is not going through. So please don't tell me that, oh, they can't keep somebody in the jail because they don't know who they are. I don't see people do this. Okay. I'm telling y'all, I, I've been around some stuff. Okay. Y'all. So they can't tell me that they not keeping them just because they don't have no paperwork or this or that. If that's the case, if you're over here committing crimes, send them back to where they came from. Send them back home. You did it for everybody else. Usually people come over here to this country and they commit crimes. They send them back home. So why are you letting them right back out on the streets and you know that they're already doing some stuff? Now, this guy right here, and not just him, a couple of them, they're saying that they were previously arrested for robbery and for assault, y'all. And now they just graduated, okay, to assaulting a poli two police officers, one being a lieutenant, and y'all let them walk. Y'all, it's some serious, serious stuff going on that we do not know what's going on behind closed doors. And like I said, and I'm going to say it again, they might try to take it. If they take it down this time, I'm not putting it back up again, okay, y'all? But... I'm telling y'all, I think they got some dirt. I'm just saying on Biden, y'all. I think it's something going on. Somebody being blackmailed or something for people to come over here and disrespect us in the worst way and even make us look bad to the point where they are jumping on people of authority. Like police, are you serious? You're going to come over here and disrespect the police officers? He, look at him flipping the middle, the middle fingers up. Two of them, y'all. Like, F y'all. Y'all can't do nothing to me. How in the world can police officers get jumped, y'all? 
and not they not be allowed to protect themselves. If this had been eight, and I'm going to just put it out there like that, it is. If it had been eight men of color that jumped on these two police officers and that lieutenant, they would have got bang, 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 y'all. Y'all already know. They would have been hit up, okay? So why did they hold their weapons and they were being assaulted, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Are they being told that they can't even mess with them either? Because remember, they was telling us that we can't do anything if they come build a tent in your backyard. You can't touch them. You can't make them leave. You can't do nothing. And remember, I was telling y'all, don't let people come in you house. Because it could be, I'm telling y'all, you have no rights when it comes to them. You let them in your house. You don't like them being there. Y'all can get into an altercation and the police could come and arrest you and leave them in your house. Okay? This is what I was trying to tell y'all. The, 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 the paperwork is jacked up, what they're saying. You know what I'm saying, y'all? The paperwork, everything that they're saying that, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's all in their favor, y'all. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. When I keep mentioning about the guy in with his truck and they moved in his truck, and that was his work truck, and the police said they can't do nothing about it, and they told him he can't move the truck, and none of that stuff, he can't put them out. They're taking away our rights and giving it to other people that's coming over here. And this is what I was talking about. You know, they need to stop talking about the Pledge of Allegiance, all that stuff. The home of the brave, because we're not looking like that right now. But I think that it's going to be a shift in a minute. I truly believe it's about to be a shift, especially after this just happened. Because a lot of people send back like, wait a minute, the police can't even protect themselves from them either? They are not allowed to pull their weapons on these guys? And it's eight of them jumping on two? That don't seem right, y'all. Something is wrong with that picture, that they're protected even against the police. You can put paws on the police now and you can walk? And you have other charges for robbery and everything else. If you assault a police officer, y'all, and you can put your middle finger up in their face on the way out the courtroom, you going to go to the streets and you are going to do whatever it is that you feel like you want to do to anybody. Because you're going to feel that ain't nobody going to be able to stop you. Because this is what somebody is telling them in their little heads, y'all. Remember that meeting when they were talking to that sister like that, telling her, you all are lazy. You get no more money. You did shoot that. You talking about somebody that we are clothing. We put them putting food on in their mouth. We're um, giving them a place to stay. Our tax money is paying for this. And you to come over here and disrespect us in that type of way. And then now you are jumping on people of authority. Y'all, somebody better tell them. Because I'm telling you, he going to get what he asking for. He going to run up on the wrong, on the right person. Seriously, he going to run up on the right person at the wrong time for himself. And somebody going to show him what America is really about. That it's the reason why they call us the home of the brave. I'm telling y'all. Ain't nobody going to keep on letting them just run over them like that. That's not going to happen. But as you see, y'all. If they're taking away the police rights to even, y'all, this was assault. And they were not allowed to handle their business because they were migrants, y'all. I want y'all to pay attention to what's really going on out here in y'all faces, okay? I had to throw this video back up again because they was coming for the video, y'all. Now, I don't know if it was for the picture. That's why I just blocked, blurred this out and left it like this. But yeah, y'all, keep your eyes open, okay? And be careful, like I told y'all. It ain't no time to be thirsty because, oh, they look so cute. They this, they that. Oh, the guys are so handsome. I can get me a new boyfriend because he ain't got nowhere to stay. Y'all better stop looking at them like that, okay? These guys out here, oh, we got some new tail out here. They are bringing over all kind of packages from where they came from, okay? All kind of stuff is going on with them. And then they have... A lot of them is married and their family members is 
in another city and state and this and that and that and this. They're giving them phones. And they know how to go to social media, okay, and find each other. So mess around and think that you got yourself a new girlfriend. And you come back home and they done moved the husband and the kids in your house. And you can't do nothing about it. Like, y'all better wake up when it comes to this situation. When you don't have a right to defend yourself in self-defense, even a police officer, it's something wrong, y'all. It's something going on more than what we know. They're not letting us in on it. Okay, y'all? But I'm about to go to sleep now. But I had to jump back off here and put this back up because they just peed me off by even taking it down in the first place. But, um, you know, y'all, anyway, I had to put this up for y'all. Y'all can go Google it and, and you can read the story about the whole situation. But, yeah, even the police officers is mad about it because they're saying that, you know, this don't make no sense. They should be locked up or kicked back out the country. Even the police is starting to complain. Okay, y'all? So just keep your eyes open. All right. And they, um, like I told y'all, they robbing people left and right. And you see now, it doesn't matter if they come in your house to rob you. They go to jail and they get right back out and they don't even got a bond. They don't have no bail. None of this stuff. OK, y'all. So just pay attention. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.